Getting into the Oklahoma outdoors today, guys, the winds are going to be howling, especially into the evening and overnight after sunset. Winds will gust up to 65 miles per hour here in the metro, gust to 45. High wind warnings in effect for blowing dust, could have some power bumps, and of course the fire danger increases. We will see winds 35 to 45 coming up this evening, but watch the winds in the northwest coming up around midnight tonight near 60. A very breezy night, and then as we head into tomorrow morning, still very windy. This is a potent low pressure system to our north. It's driving a dry line right now across the far western panhandle, pulling that south wind up. We've got cloud cover streaming in across Oklahoma. Gulf moisture at 70 degrees. It's muggy. Dew point value is in the lower and mid 60s, and our winds are already gusty. Temperatures are in the low 70s. Wind just gusts to 47 miles per hour there in El Reno. 30 in Woodward, 42 up in Buffalo, very breezy, and that does not let up through the day, okay? Cloud cover off and on through the day with temperatures into the low 80s. We'll see mid 80s in western Oklahoma, upper 80s in the panhandle, and what will happen about 5 o'clock, thunderstorms will try to form out in the far western Texas and Oklahoma panhandles, and those will try to make a run at western and northwestern Oklahoma. As of right now, the best chance for severe weather, or threat for severe weather, I should say, is going to be in the northwest from basically northern Roger Mills, Ellis, Harper County, and then those storms should weaken as they make their way on in. Now you might still get some rain out of them, which would be nice. Those chances are running about 20%, maybe slightly higher in the far northwest. The threat for damaging winds will be there within those storms as they are collapsing. Could crank out some large hail, I think up to golf ball, maybe tennis ball. But again, these storms should be on their kind of dissipating stage by the time they make it into the far west. Still a very low tornado threat, and our trackers will be out there monitoring those storms very closely and bringing those on in. Your Friday dry for the rest of the state. Lows tonight in the 60s, but remember the wind overnight. We'll wake up tomorrow morning with a chance for a few scattered showers, maybe a rumble of thunder or two, not expecting severe weather tomorrow morning, but I do think we'll be tracking rain coming up for your Saturday morning. And then as we go through the day tomorrow, the main energy from this storm system gets very close to the plains. Jet stream winds ramp up, and here it comes. That dry line gets shoved further and further into western Oklahoma. Behind that extreme fire danger much hotter ahead of it gulf moisture will kind of pool up and as that dry line gets near us we will have the chance for thunderstorms to start to boil on up it's a low to a moderate threat ponca city enid kingfisher back down to weatherford and clinton lawton and back into oklahoma city with large hail and damaging winds the primary concern but these will pose a tornado threat too in fact future next gen taking you into your saturday few showers around in the morning six seven o'clock we start to see thunderstorms develop and we'll just have to watch the entire area along and ahead of that dry line. We may have numerous storms tomorrow and again damaging winds, large hail possible and a few of these cells could rotate and produce a tornado. So I know it's your weekend and you're making your plans. You got things to do. Make sure you're plugged in. You're staying tuned. Storm chances more likely after dark. So these will be kind of nighttime storms and those continue to press down to the south and east as we go through the overnight hours. By Sunday morning, rain still ongoing to the southeast, but we're drying it out here in OKC. The threat for hail tomorrow will be there, especially when the storms first form on the western sides and then they start to kind of weaken some as they press to the southeast, but golf ball to tennis ball size hail possible. That would be the maximum. And there's that tornado threat. It is low, but it is definitely there into the evening hours as the low level winds become favorable into those storms. As these storms ramp up and make their trek, they could also produce damaging wind gusts in excess of 65 or 70 miles per hour. So we'll be tracking it. We'll be here. We'll bring you updates tomorrow evening into tomorrow night. Rain chances in Oklahoma City taper off early. Temperatures in the 60s on Monday. And then, guys, most of next week's pretty quiet. Next chance of storms is Friday.